I'm Graham or Shikenda, an artist who loves Unreal. Today I'm going to show you how to use fractals inside Unreal and specifically how to get them moving in the editor. Okay, let's get to it. As you may be aware, there's this amazing fractal plugin available for Unreal Engine by the guys at Machine Infinitum. It's called Essence. And then this is kind of what you get. This is a little Mandelbob test project. And you can see here, there's a bunch of settings that you can play around with. Let's get into how to get this moving. So basically behind this is a blueprint and inside that blueprint is actually a material. So what I'm gonna do is jump into the bulb light folder for the materials. You can see this is bulb light one, the supplied one. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and duplicate that. So I don't break the original. Bulb light two will be fine as a name. Double click to open it. And this is a super intense material with a lot going on but the bit that we care about is right up the top here and it's that little variable I was just playing with called loop so basically what we're going to do is add time to get us a flow of numbers and then we're going to turn that into a wave with sine which just goes up and down up and down from zero to one and then we're going to use a little bit of math to kind of set this up better um, so basically the time flow will be quite fast, particularly for this type of animation. So I'm going to multiply it by 0.1 and unplug that into sine. And then the sine will give us zero, will give us minus one to one. So we want to adjust that range because this loop parameter is running from zero to five. So I'm going to hold down A and click to give me an add. And I'm going to add one and that will then adjust our range from zero to two and then I'm gonna hold down a M, M and click to I'm gonna multiply that by 2.5 I'm gonna plug that in there and then we're just gonna plug that into the multiply where the loop variable is and you'll see here our material should update straight away and you can see brilliant it's already moving And I still feel like this is a little bit fast for me, so I'm actually going to adjust this to 0.1. Okay, I'm good with that. You could easily drag these out into parameters and set them up so that you can manipulate them a little bit more whenever you're in the editor. Um, but for now, we'll just kind of keep cracking on. So the next step is to plug this into our blueprint that is controlling the Mandelbub. So you'll see here, we've got a bunch of blueprints included. Um, bulb light one is what we want to duplicate. And bulb light two will be great. And then we're going to open up this blueprint and we're going to go to the construction script tab at the top, not the event graph. And then we're going to zoom right in and you'll see you've got bulb Visual instance bulb light one. So we didn't actually make a material instance yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back to the bulb light material folder. And I'm just going to make a material instance. I'm call it MI light two. So we've created our little material instance now, and we will just save that guy. And then we'll set our new blueprint to that material instance. So mi underscore b. And there we go, there's our bulb like two. So we've set that. So then we're gonna compile and save this blueprint. And then we're gonna come back to our original map. And we're gonna find our new blueprint we just created, which is bulb like two. I'm gonna drop this in. And you'll see now we have our cool little moving Mandelbulb now. So I'm just gonna scale him up a little bit. There he is, we probably need to pop him back over within that spotlight or point the light at him better, but now we've got a cool moving Mandelbulb, which is pretty sweet. Okay, and we can basically apply this same principle to the other blueprints we have. So. Within the maps, you can see there's a bunch of other super cool stuff within the Fractals plugin. So if I were to open up another map, so it's just a matter of finding the blueprint and then messing around with some of these parameters. 
seeing which ones might be fun to play with. This could kind of create like a breathing kind of fractal world vibe. So that scales there, then it's also going to just exist in the same spot. So just have to come back to that folder and then into the base material. You know, here's the parameters again. That was scale Z. So again, I would just click on this, check what my slider min and max is, and then just do exactly the same. I can jump into my other material and I can just copy and paste this code. Unplug that into wherever scale Z is going. And then we'll have a dynamic Minpinski light for. So I hope you have fun with this, creating some cool fractals that live and breathe and transform right within your editor. All right, take it easy. Bye.